If uh, Richie is going to walk up to them and be like, hey, EXG <laughs> is a thing. We'll pay mm. you in internet dollars. I, I want to say that most uh, of the top tier competitors usually get scouted out. Um, first time, you know, maybe they'll be a little squeamish about joining the team, but, you know, who knows? Mm. It really depends on uh, the quality of play. They all tag up in the end. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> all right. Even if it's just crash. coloring on their rooms. Mm hmm. So this is basically the same situation, right? I'm pretty sure it was Shadow versus Spray Quaz's Dragon to, to start out. Mm -hmm. And we talked about mm -hmm. this. We I think we beat the horse dead, and then it healed up and came back and just kept <laughs> coming back. I think, yes. I think that's the story of Dragoncraft, right? That is. The it's, it's literally draw Ouroboros in this matchup or don't. Yep. That's, that's, that's it. Oh. <laughs> wow. Double okay. His hand's symmetrical. I love these hands. Yep. Yep. Double leak there. And realistically, with Spray Quaza playing, he's also playing Unicas, he's got Lucifer's, Sybil's, Draconic Fervors. I mean, he could just, like, outlive needing an Ouroboros. Mm -hmm. Like, this this is one of the important things I'm talking about. So, Ban Hackdrox has played against Spray Quaza. This matchup ha has already happened, and Ban Hackdrox has lost this matchup every single time and is still running straight into it. Mm -hmm. So, like, this, I think, is one of the huge things that Ban Hackdrox can come back from this tournament and just be like, oh. This is something I, I need to be considering in the future tournaments. Mm. Ben Hackrock should be looking to... Mm. Nope. Went halfway through that pun and realized I didn't want to finish it. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> Sometimes... You know Either what? Way, Most of the time Dragon's puns are pretty bad anyway, so you probably saved yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. We saved myself, you guys, all the precious viewers out there. There's a, there's a small piece of everybody's soul that remains intact right now. <laughs> that could have just very been small, shattered. Though. Yeah, very small, very tiny one. This right, is actually so a small window breath where Breath of Salamander is online, but it just creates a lich. So, okay. This will probably just die to Lurching Corpse, but he opts to do it instead. Just play the Sybil down. I guess he really wants the pump. I use the ramp. Well, realistically, if you let them get the lich, they have balls and hits you for six, so... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's an interesting play. This doesn't assure that the attendant is gonna die. Ooh, this uh, Sybil's living. Wait a minute. Yeah, there's no Sybil good lives. way to clear that... this. Your board is full. Hatterox pushed one damage that turn. This this game is already over. There's there's yes. like no coming back if you allow this to happen. Yeah. Okay, so he does choose to let Sybil die. So I think he's just gonna oracle, stick, but it won't matter because Eek yeah. is just useless yeah. now. You're on ten. Yeah. This like, is a makes small window. window. If he Salamander. is proactive oh and plays gosh. Ektar here, then it still dies. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, it's Salamander, <laughs> man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Breath of the Salamander. Well. That's with a Diego, solid yeah. set of oh. mana turn. And there it is. There's your boy. Or yeah. Boros. With Let's time to play Polly. Establish Polyphonic first, even. Oh my god, this is just a, a back beating. A behind beating right now. <laughs> a back beating. A back beating, yeah. That didn't quite communicate what I wanted to, but... <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Bone back Chimera. breaking it is. Yes. The Bone Chimera is this trying is hard. kind of just what Dragon does, though. Like, they, they get to 10 mana, and they begin to oppress everything, so... Yep. Mm -hmm. Like, the imagine overboard. if he had Lightning Blast right now. It'd be even Ooh. worse. Got the Zeus as well. Oh, my God. Yeah, I can't imagine him not play it safe here and just yep. use wipe. use the breath wipe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Once you have polyphonic roar and play against any deck that's trying to outvalue you, you just initially you you initially get ahead and then you just stay ahead. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, I'm going for easy clears. There it is. Yeah, there was just yep, definitely four shadows evolved. board. Yeah. I think you definitely feel the fact that Shadow doesn't play Catacomb anymore. Like, Dragon's oh, players yeah. are much more effective. Yeah, that's very true. The, 
there are certain end games that you could actually eke out before with the Prince Catacomb tomb, like the the, right, the death yeah. breath into Prince Catacomb play on like turn nine, for instance, or even turn ten. Mm -hmm. Um, could set up a board state that was really hard to deal with and then Ektar the following turn, something like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's kind of the, the tried and true identity of Shadow, right? Where it's just like, even the 1-1 one, one skeletons, it's like more important to have bodies on board than it is to have anything of necessarily substance. Yeah, yeah you don't exactly. even see the skellies outside of Bone Chimera anymore, it's sad. <laughs> that's true, yeah. They all went home. Yeah. Stopped terrorizing the countryside. <laughs> this and, is yeah. just it's yeah. gonna be a soul squasher play but i mean yeah this is basically giving him a heal thanks buddy yeah we've we've seen this play out yeah. ben hackrox might just like he's just like you know what i don't care about this matchup i don't care about losing this matchup mm -hmm. I, just I mean that's the only too. thought that could be running through my head right now like he allowed this to happen three times or two times mm -hmm. yeah two times so. i think yeah Doesn't kill the dragon, so there's a net gain of dragons here. Oh my god! Which actually means so much damage. Zeus, Zeus, and the dragons can go face. Yeah, yep. fifteen. <laughs> it's a little rock band spread Quasica could put together. Zeus and the dragons <laughs> <laughs> choose to just clear again. Ouroboros plant. Yep. Zeus and the dragons. Zeus you can kill Steven in a while. What up? Like, <laughs> just. Does not care. Knows this game is over. <laughs> He's profiting health. <laughs> yeah. <gasps> oh my god! He's pushing. He's not giving up. I'll give that to Ban Hackrox. Even though he's picking the bad matchups, oh, letting do this it. stuff I'll slide through, he's it. not going to concede. Do oh god. It. Double polyphonic. Or I mean, this is just... We're back at the exhibition stage. Where <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Where Pause is just like, check out my three polyphonic roar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the continue part two. Dragon this is Rocky Boxer. versus the Russian round 14. You know, neither neither uh, <laughs> person is going down. <laughs> oh, I'm glad he played the Ouroboros. He's going to kill the entire zombie party. Yep. He's going to oh, kill the oh whole zombie God. party instead of <laughs> getting any phase damage. Yep. He's just like, this you can't win, I'm not going to let you. Stop. What's going on. I'm, I'm sure Spray Quaz is not doing face damage on purpose. And just 100% kind of... he's not doing it on purpose. To be fair, yeah. though, there's no way for him to lose if he keeps doing this. Yeah. So yeah. If he's, he's just, just ensuring that he can't lose. Losses. Yeah. Maybe so, he's like, one no of those people to give who can't win the game inch. unless they have 20 life. Here we go, we get 5 damage here. Finally. There it is. Base oh. damage, ahoy! <laughs> he, just didn't turn. he just didn't even attack. <laughs> we struck a, if he did an attack, he just passed. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> uh, still still technically has lethal if he does that. Yep. Yeah. So Zeus this turn. Probably Dragon's yeah. enough. Just the, the game's dragon, over, right? period. Another dragon's popping out, Zeus, that's yeah. fifteen, even if you deal with the Ouroboros, so Yep. Well, if you evolve over the Ouroboros here, you do still have both your evolves as Hackdrox, so... They're so fresh. Unfortunately for him, those don't carry the next game. <laughs> no, they do not. <laughs> oh, I was misled. That's why I keep losing <laughs> my game. Someone lied to me! <laughs> I can't believe it! <laughs> this is gonna prompt Sprayquaza to clear the board again, instead of... I'd, oh, I'd he's actually it. going face! Because Zeus is lethal! The daddy. Did I'm surprised he didn't kill the zombies. <laughs> I'm surprised he didn't kill the zombies. <laughs> I'm surprised, dude. You can't just give away lethal. Come on. Talking about sticking to strategies. Yes. It, it would have been he, consistent. Spray Quaza stuck to clearing that board game plan all game yeah. long. And you know what? <laughs> I can't fault him because it means board. he can't lose. So I actually think that was definitely the right play. I mean, there are certain mm -hmm. situations where it's a little more kind of... I think a little more back and forth. Where that ambiguity and maybe playing aggressive will force your opponent's options out in, in a particular way. But I think the best way to kind of control the situation, knowing what Shadowcraft options there are, when you have that polyphonic roar set up, when you know you have Ouroboros coming back again and again and again, you almost cannot not push him out of options, right? Just because you have this right. consistent engine just pumping out gas again and again and again. Right. 
I think once I mean, plus you're playing against zombies and skeletons. You can't give them an inch or else they'll take over the world. Yeah. No, definitely. Yeah, with Ector they could, but he already <laughs> ate through two of them. So. Uh, zombies and skeletons definitely need to kill them while it's early. You know, that's yeah. always a problem. But all these situations where there's like zombie invasions, it's always talking about the situation where some guy didn't just look at the zombie and be like, "Okay, let's just kill it now." Yeah, because they were afraid, <laughs> they were scared. Yep. Yeah, and then it spread, and then it spread, and then you know what? Apocalypse time. <laughs> it's apocalypse time. Ooh, game of the year not drawing too many options there, but Spectraza does have a pretty sick card advantage over Hackdrox. Yes, it's really going to depend on if Van Hackdrox really pushes the damage this game and forgoes trying to play defensive against the Shadow deck. Mm -hmm. Because realistically, he's got is, uh, a know, great Hacktrox is also in loser's draw. bracket, with Sprayquaza needing one game to win. Yeah. So if Hactorox yeah. uh, just goes in, if he just manages to win, you know, like that could be the morale boost he needs to to even this bracket out, actually. So. Yep. 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 Sprayquaza well positioned now on the winner's side with one game up. Mm -hmm. A commanding game with his Dragoncraft deck. Mm -hmm. and, man, it's almost like I don't know if it's just that we're noticing it more just because of the balance changes that are coming but god has that Ouroboros just been pumping out heals like he's playing oh, some yeah. MMO I mean, I, I play Shadow a like ton, that. and every time I play against Dragon I just feel terrible every time they have an Ouroboros <laughs> it just, it's just, it's oppressive yeah. but that Especially, literal like, change when you play Take 2, you just life, really feel Ouroboros as well matchup. So. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, yeah, that's right too. As well. Take two. So. That's a game mode. <laughs> yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> we exist. <laughs> it does the existing. Everybody in the audience who plays Take Two say woo. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> Just one lonely <laughs> echoes throughout the stadium. Yeah. Give Envy a little bit of woo lad over here. Yeah. A woo lad. Yeah. That evolve makes it look like piercing runes to play. Yep. Mm. Yep. Bop him. One one. Bop him. Yeah. Again, not the most aggressive line of play. This is more card advantage oriented. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. Got the shadows. Got the Cerberus. Got the Death's Breath. This is looking like the classic dangerous Shadowcraft. Uh, one of the many ways in Tempest of the Gods that Shadowcraft took over games is Cerberus, yep. Death's Breath, Ector. And shadows. Yep. Shadows with that is the important last thing. Ooh, and I was going to say, it's really, it's a really good thing, actually, that uh, Sprayquaza, for Sprayquaza, that he's on the draw here, because Death's Breath would have happened after the Levi, but Banhack Rock just drew another Levi, so. Mm -hmm. But I think that's okay, well. right? I think, based on what they have in hand right now, after we do the whole, I hit you, you hit me, we're all happy family, Sprayquaza comes out with the last Death's the Breath. But now there's True. the taboos. <laughs> so he's, he's, he's been top decking when he needs so. a top deck. Mm -hmm. Ooh. That's actually a good top deck. You can kill that and just play serve again. Yep. Yep. And now he's got two instances of Coco and Mimi. And things get, once again, a little more sticky for Ban Hector Rocks. Like he does, however, plus have the of ten. illusionist here. Yeah, I think so. Oh, taboos. Taboos and Levi is pretty good. Get that fireball in your hand. Okay. Yeah, can save that for more defensive options. Like so many cards in Spray Quaz's hand. Like just gives you one extra option. All right. Well, I mm -hmm. think. That the choice. It's my force an early Ector. Yeah, I think yeah. the choice is the Ector. It lets you control the board. Yeah, Mimi onto a two-two Ector for three Zombos. Okay. And mm -hmm. I think well, Ector. Identifying that there are three cards left in Hakdarox's hand, it is a certain advantage just for knowledge gain to be able to kind of pull them out and put your. Chose to use Coco instead. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of that. Also a very heads up play to not use that before um, playing yeah. the Ektar because uh, it reserves your shadows. You actually get to keep two shadows there to power up the next Death's Breath. Yes, True. right, because the Ektar would have depleted mm -hmm. yeah. all of them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Triple Red Hot Ritual to kill an Ektar. What a world. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a world. Well, Quaza is at 8 health, and again, there's no real way to heal back but up. The brakes have just been applied. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Spray Quaza is really going to come chill. down to the draws here. One more yeah. time, young Levi. Nope. <laughs> Where's the Wizardess into Mutagenic Bolt? Let's go, Haxrox. You've done it before. We know you have it in you. Yes. Pray. There's a draw. Huh. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Ooh, there we go. That's a bolt. That's Levi Bolt. I think if you, yeah, if you Levi Evolve and Bolt, then you have the at least the six damage there, right? Well, actually, mm -hmm. you just you just bolt and pass because you don't want to give them a reason, a way to kill themselves. Yeah. But now you can kill two of them. Yeah, I'm not sure about playing the dwarf out there. Yeah. Well, now I can kill them all. So let's see. You've got three Stuffle. rats. Sixteen health is kind of a lot, actually. Yeah, those That's rats. A lot. I, those I rats mean, Van Hackrox isn't losing in the next turn, so still has a way to draw out of this. But basically, gave away guaranteed lethal. Mm -hmm. That uh, the Levi said. I think just playing the bolt and passing was a little bit stronger. Yep. So it's, it's this thing about not committing... Well, that one's not about committing. That technically is committing a more aggressive game plan uh, in a straightforward sense where you're just committing more to the board. Mm -hmm. But you're actually yeah. taking damage away because of the rats being able to die. Yeah. Which honestly might have changed the pace of this game, right? Absolutely. This could just be over game, anyway, though. Game would have been it over. Is. Oh, oh yeah. All right. There it is. Well, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> it is. Yep. Halogon was pretty strong. Yes, well, it is. Hackdrox just had to know exactly what he would draw. And, Definitely. Uh, yeah. Make this look wrong. There we go. Definitely one of the benefits of playing this iteration of Dirt Rune is that you maintain mm -hmm. some semblance of kind of uh, mid game control, but you also mm -hmm. still have this burn that is both effective when you're trying to rush down your opponent, as well as kind of effective for picking yourself up towards the end when gas is running out and just barely squeezing out the amount of damage you need to, to close it. Mm -hmm. And so much of that damage, right? It's just you can't stop it. What Healing is the do? only way. Healing is the only way. It's, it's, the, it's like the old Daria position that it would put you in, right? Where, like, magic missiles and angelic snipes and all of this burn out of hand would just finish you off and you couldn't do anything about it. It's it's what Rune has going for him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, for sure. one and one now. Spray Quaza needs to go back to Shadow once again and uh, try it again. And I feel like we're, we're starting to see... I don't know if it's my imagination, but I feel like we're starting to see a circle of... Like, Dragon beats Shadow, Rune, you know, and then I guess Rune beats Shadow too. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm thinking about it. I guess Shadow beats Blood. Uh, never yes. mind. <laughs> I, so, so far that we've seen, yes. And Blood kind of gets wrecked by Haven. Hmm. Again, yeah. Uh, we have well, seen that. tournament stats strictly, yeah. Yeah, yes, tournament stats yes. wise. Right. That's That's the space we are living in. That is what we can Although care, right? so, so, some True. some like little things, right? Like the spawn of the abyss could have been evolved to deal eight damage that one game, and instead just dealt three after the Nisha and Tribunal. So yeah. like very different amounts of damage that could have been dealt by that same card, depending on how you play it. Mm -hmm. That's for mm -hmm. sure. So the Red Branch Knight. All right. I really want to see Ban Hack Rocks yeah. win here. We've got to we've got to have another match. Come on, Ban Hack Rocks. Yeah, resend the back. It would be nice. Sprayquaza chose to keep a hand that had Cerberus in the mulligan, and uh, I think he's kind of paying for it. His hand is very slow. Yep. He's got a bunch of soul squashers here. And not really a good way to play a Necro Assassin, and not really a good reason to. That was actually the Bone perfect draw. He needed that. Pretty, yeah. 100% mm -hmm. good draw. Basically gave the play back to Ban Hackdrox now with his mulligan and uh, what he's played so far. So now Ban Hackdrox is in the driver's seat. Mm -hmm. With those draws, yeah. This could have actually so, been over very fast. Uh, 
with Spike Waza keeping Cerberus in the mulligan and drawing Phantom Hell shortly after, had he drawn uh, or mulliganed into a stronger two mana, three mana play, he would have just won the game. So, yeah, that's one of the reasons why I still better. really like Phantom Hell. For those of you who don't play Phantom Hell anymore, is you still have the option to win on turn six with it if you get the right draw. Mm -hmm. It's one of those like mm -hmm. unbeatable things. Eleven damage out of hand with no board. Yeah, feels pretty good, man. Feels pretty good, man. It's pretty nice. Yeah, it's pretty noise. Oh, is he gonna God. go for the full clear here? Is he gonna evolve? I wonder if Twitch chat is spamming noise or if they're making fun of us right now. They're probably I hope they are spamming noise. I hope they realize it's the future. <laughs> noise. It's, <true. laughs> it's the future. Oh, God. Soulsquatch is pretty weak this turn. Ugh. To be fair, the future is looking pretty noise. <laughs> <laughs> there <Jesus>. we go. <laughs> Two actors. <laughs> Up against two deaths breath. I yep. think that the uh, actor comes out ahead of that one. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. cuz I mean the three defense doesn't really do anything for you against Hector. Right. Forcing Zombos to trade with Zombos. An even less known fact about Death's Breath is that if the zombies that stayed around from the first Death Breath that got pumped. Um, for the second Death's Breath, they get pumped again, and they become two fours, which again doesn't matter against Ektar, so... Mm -hmm. Sick analysis. <laughs> they can also, they can gain ward if they didn't have it previously, so... Mm -hmm. Right. That's very true. From Zombie Party as well. The more you know. <laughs> the more you know, that's right. So Death's Breath is oh. pretty good, actually. Hectrox's hand is bad at answering it. He's gonna have the Necro Assassin. Yeah. If we're just talking sheer value, like Spray Quaz is not running out anytime soon. Oh, for sure. His hand is his hand is gas. Got a zombie party, which is pretty good. Yeah. I think Ben Hactrox is just enough. I think he I feel like he has the right cards in hand to make something happen. Mm-hmm. He does. He has a couple different options this turn. He could run that in and then play a Necro Assassin and then play an Undying Resentment. He could play Zombie Party and Undying Resentment this turn to push a damage. So the Necro and the 3-1 to push one damage. Now that's aggressive. Mm, I yeah. like it. That's that's <laughs> what I like to see. That that play has gusto right there. <laughs> that's right. You will take this one damage and you will like it. <laughs> Poor Skull Beast. Look, so scared. So scared of that Skull Beast, in fact, that it got mm. cocoed. Yeah, well, more respecting the Eater, I'm sure. But, yeah. Also, just trying to gain shadows back after expending them, uh, holding double soul squasher and phantom hell. You want those cards to be useful, so. I I'm gonna stick with my uh, assessment of just being scared of the skull beast. <laughs> that it's just scary. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> skull beast is pretty scoop spooky. It's it's like skeleton esque, right? Yeah. Yeah, sure. It's kind of a skeleton. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not really, but. Y'all <laughs> wretched. Demon Lord Ector is probably gonna get squashed. Yeah, yeah, this is actually a great turn for Squaza. Uh, not Squaza. Squaza. Spray Quaza. <laughs> Squasher. He can just squash for this, play the Serb, and then play his newly found Mimi on that 3 1. And, uh, yeah, that's exactly he's gonna do it. He sees it immediately. Value Town. Right. He Mimi did The bus is leaving. Yeah. I, that's one reason I don't really think that Ban Hackrox had to evolve that turn to clear. He's still at 19. He wasn't be able to clear that. Nectar any other way, um, mm -hmm. unless he played a Nectar, uh, if Spray Quaza played a Nectar of his own, so I don't know if I would have used the Evo there. It might come to cost him here in the next couple turns. That was interesting. Both players just kind of doing a whole lot of nothing, making sure neither can get too much Eater value, but there's the Thane! The Thane <laughs> coming out. And this could yeah, actually be Thane double plus Ektar plus Phantom Howl plus Mimi Coco stuff. You know what I mean? Like, there's just so much damage that's about to come from Spray Quaza. I was gonna say, he could have <gasps> double Coco and just. Oh, Thane himself is terrible. Though. Thane the Thane. No, that Thane way we can see little also. orbs shooting past each other for <laughs> extremely long moments of time whenever a single follower <laughs> dies. I've never if he had seen double Thane Coco across and gone face. Come on. Actually, Hectrox is in a lot of trouble. He doesn't have good plays at all. Right. 
And this is one of the downsides of playing Athena, and this is why I don't like it over Cerberus, is that it just becomes a dead card after Evo points. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, well, Hactrox is uh, seemingly... I mean, he's pulling out a lot of his late-game options and... Double Coco Hector. Like, we're talking about board control plus an extra five cards in hand plus more card draw. Like, this is a, this is super uphill for Hackrox. Mm -hmm. The Spray Quaza might be on the verge of, I don't know, closing out the tournament here, being on the winner's side of the bracket. Yeah, this is looking very, very, very good for a Spray Quaza to just end. It's over. Not even not even Ektar would have saved him here, honestly. Oh, no. It would have, it yeah. would have had to have been a Grimnir or something. It's just over. And I think, yeah. honestly, that, that Evolve that you mentioned earlier, that got retaliated with uh, the Squasher into mm -hmm. the uh, Cerberus, mm -hmm. really, yeah. really shifted the game into Spikewaz's favor. I, that's and that's so interesting. Not that's so interesting. I mean, we've talked a lot about player mentality in this particular tournament, about how aggressive you want to play, and I feel like the kind of the first layer of, of thinking is, okay, got to spend the Evolve, and I'm going to try to gain, gain control of this board so I can start playing out my cards aggressively here, but in the end, that's caused him to lose the match, and with the Immortal Thane plus the Coco to buff him up to 8-5, and then the Ektar to put him up to 10-5, this guy is swinging for a tree and a half, and <laughs> the grand finale. <laughs> ten bomb. See ya. Ten five on Immortal Thane for the game win. Spray Quaza two one will manage to take the second week of North American qualifiers over Ban Hectorox, and in the end, in the end, it was again a player. From